Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Geeker Tech. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank you to all my viewers and subscribers for their love and their support. Uh, if you are new to my channel, please do like, share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press notification bell. So friends, uh, in last video we had talked about the different scenarios of man method in Core Java. So, uh, I try to demonstrate uh, that what will be the result we will receive when we make certain changes in uh, man method implementation uh, when when we try to use it. We I also try to cover a couple of scenarios which asked mostly in uh, interview questions. So in in continuation of that series, uh, today we are going to talk about static block in Java. So today I will try to demonstrate you certain scenarios that how to implement the static block and what will be the output of certain uh, scenarios when we try to execute a static block. So now, um, moving forward. So uh, this is the first scenario which I am going to talk about today, which is uh, execute the uh, which one execute first, man method or the static block? Okay. So today uh, we will see that uh, which uh, which will execute uh, first. If I try to execute, uh, will it be the static block or will it be the man method? So let's see that uh, which one execute first. So uh, before executing it, uh, let me demonstrate to you that how I have um, declared the static block. So it's very simple. We just have to mention static keyword and uh, afterwards we need to mention the curly braces. And in between then we need to write out that whatever we want to use as in the static block. So this, this is very simple uh, syntax for static block. Let's see what will be the result for this. Also, along with the static block, uh, I will uh, demonstrate you non-static block also in this video. So let's see that what will be the output of uh, this program. Here you can see that the block uh, static which we have mentioned in static block and main method. So it shows that every time when we call the when we execute the class when we compile the class when we run the class, the static block will always run first. Okay, it will always load first. It will always execute first before the man method. Okay, so it it will be the starting point of the class. Uh, it will load first uh, before any other thing. Here you can see that that before even before the man method, this block has been executed and we got the result as block static, which we try to print over here. Okay, so this was the first scenario. Let's move towards the second scenario. So here, uh, the in second scenario, which will execute first, constructor or a static block? So it's a very interesting question. It's uh, mostly asked in interviews also that what will be the output if I try to execute a static block and if I try to invoke a constructor? So who will uh, execute first? So let's see uh, what will happen. So here, um, I have created a constructor. Okay which will print constructor value and I have created a static block also which will print a static block also you can see that um, the man, the manner which I have uh, written down is that uh, the first I have uh, mentioned the constructor then I have mentioned the static block okay so let's see that which will execute first so as you know that for uh, invoking the constructor we need to create the object so i have created the object over here in man method okay now let's see what will be the output for this okay So it's uh, while it's getting executed. Uh, here we uh, we have just created the object to uh, invoke the constructor. We didn't um, do anything else, any special treatment for this. Okay. Let's see what will be the output for this one. And also, uh, if you have any more scenarios and more questions, then you can uh, share with me in comment box. Then I will try to. Or create uh, scenarios on on those topics. 
so here you can see that static block will uh, execute first then the main method then constructor okay so again it shows that static block will execute the first mode uh, most uh, block uh, or the line which execute will be the static block then it will call the main method then it will go for object or creation which will call the constructor so whenever someone asks you what will execute first constructor or a static block the answer is simple a static block will execute it first every time okay it will always be uh, executed first in in uh, whether we are using man method or whether we are using a constructor let's talk about the third scenario so in third scenario uh, let's see uh, which will execute first non static or a static block as you know that uh, we can uh, create a non static block also same as a static block just uh, what i did here is that i didn't mention any keyword okay any static keyword so it will be a non static block so in this block i have mentioned non static block as a sys out and static block i have mentioned the static block also i have uh, created the uh, object for the class okay now let's see what will be the output uh, for this program Okay. meanwhile uh, it's running uh, i will share you one more important aspect is that i will not be able to get this um, statement uh, printed if i won't create this object okay because we are not able to uh, call any non static uh, block without creating an object because uh, if there is a static block then we can call it with the uh, with a class name okay and it it will directly execute it uh, by a static uh, keyword but in case if we have a non static block then the object creation is compulsory so here you can see that static block created first then the main method then third is non static block okay so non static uh, methods or non static uh, blocks will execute in the last Uh, always static uh, block will execute first so this is a very interesting scenario which will execute first a non static or a static block so now let's talk about the last uh, scenario the fourth scenario which will uh, can we execute a static block in abstract class so it's a very interesting question as in um, interviews many times that can i create a static block in abstract class or how i can execute that okay so for this uh, i have created an example where i have created a static uh, block in abstract class okay i have a, a abstract class named static block here i have mentioned the static block in abstract okay and i have created an abstract method and i have implemented this abstract class in my main class okay now what i did i have created an object for my static uh, block for class so once i execute it then let uh, then let's see what will be the output how uh, this uh, static block will execute will it execute or not okay so let's see what will be the output for this program okay while um, running it uh, we can easily uh, see that there is a no compilation error okay it means we can create a static block in a abstract class so that's the one thing but let's see uh, do we get any runtime error or a runtime exception if i try to create a static block in an abstract class so that will be a uh, uh, that will be a scenario okay so here you can see static block in abstract so it calls the static block of abstract class when i try to uh to create the object for the class which extends the abstract class okay so it called the static block of the abstract class and it printed the value here static block in abstract so these are the four different scenarios for static block which i try to cover i hope you liked it uh, please uh, do like share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to press notification bell in next series i will try to bring more uh, 
more innovative questions related to core java so thank you very much thank you for your support